When you're working with Gate, you may run across the term called tracking. I'm gonna explain what that is and why it matters. Let's jump in. If you're new to Self Teach Me channel, my name is Amy Dutton. I'm a web designer and developer. If you're just looking at getting into this space, sometimes it's hard to know where to start or what resources to trust. I wanna help you level up and get to where you wanna be. If this sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button below. Git is a big part of development because it's one way that developers are able to work together. If you're not sure what Git is, how to use it, why to use it, how to install it on your computer, check out some of the other videos in my series. Link in the card above. Ooh, tracking. It's pretty simple. Tracking are local branches that have a direct relationship with a remote branch. So you can say git push or git pull without having to say git push origin new branch. When you clone a repository, it will usually establish a tracking relationship with the local master branch on your computer and the remote master branch. If you wanna download the code from the remote branch and set up tracking all in one swoop, you can use git checkout track origin branch name. This will create a new branch on your machine with the same name, download the code from the remote repository, and then move you to the new branch on your machine. Technically, you could set up tracking for a branch on your local machine to point to a branch with a different name on the remote repository, but I wouldn't recommend it. Done, uh, done, 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 done. <laughs> if you like this video and want to see more videos on web design and development, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell icon if you wanna receive notifications when new videos are posted. Until then, keep coding.